Okay, Major League Baseball has confirmed the dates for the London Games in 2019. They will take place on the 29th and 30th of June next year. Now, I am surprised, as I've said in the previous video on this subject, that it took Major League Baseball this long to host European-based international series or even pre-season friendly. I'm surprised it took this long. Um, the NHL, NBA and NFL have been doing it for the better part of two decades on various you know, formats. Uh, the NBA took, took the lead. Uh, the NHL and uh, NFL have followed since then, in the last 20 years. I'm surprised Major League Baseball has waited this long, considering that the NBA first took a game to Europe in 1990. So I'm very, very surprised. Now, the baseball is played in Europe. It's not as in the numbers that you know other sports have participation and viewership. It's just not participated in as much. There's a lot of Americans who do live in Europe in military installations, because servicemen and women. And there's a lot of American businessmen and businesswomen over here, and there's a lot of expats. Um, I've gone to school with a few of them, and college with a few of them. There are a lot of, there are a fair few um, Americans living over here. So it's not as if it's going to be alien to a lot of people. But I am very surprised. They were meant to do a Her series last year, and they pulled out at the last minute, which I felt has damaged the brand. Uh, Major League Baseball has had a, a fair few issues in the last. 10, 20 years with the steroid scandal and amongst other things and, and players betting on games, etc. Now, they have confirmed they are going to host the London Games next June. Um, now, because it's the Yankees and the Red Sox, Boston Red Sox, New York Yankees, they are five hours behind us in time zone, so the TV timings will be interesting to see when the games actually take place. And it'll be also interesting to see uh, who broadcasts domestically the games that are played. Because this is a big moment for the Major League Baseball. They want to have maximum exposure. The NFL games get shown predominantly on free-to-air TV. Uh, they didn't all this year, but they predominantly get shown on free-to-air TV in, this, in the International Series. So I'll be interested to see which broadcast gets the Major League Baseball rights for, for you know transmission here in the UK, and I'd be very surprised the timing of the game because of the east coast of the US being five hours behind. So that, that's something to look forward to. The tickets will go on sale, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the Major League Baseball does promote this really well. They don't promote it well, and the TV company doesn't promote it well. This could be actually even more damaging for the brand because they plan to come back from 2020 on a long-term, three year onwards, several games a season. Uh, not just the Red Sox and the Yankees, but multiple teams coming two game series home and away so that'll be interesting but anyway they've confirmed the dates for next year um and yeah i i i realized something was up when a lot of people were watching major league baseball video and they announced they were planning to host games here and they hadn't confirmed the dates yet i was i realized something was up and a lot of people were watching that today so i thought i'll have a look and this popped up in in the in the, the breaking news section on the bbc sport website and they have confirmed it so yeah thank you very much for watching if you are a baseball fan place your comments below if you are an american baseball fan what are your views on major league baseball taking games to europe if you are a european baseball fan what are your views on them choosing london over another city in europe and um please like subscribe place your comments below and i'll have some more videos for you soon